Our son is now 10 years old. He was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at about 11 months of age. And ever since he was two, my husband and myself, mostly my husband, has created a costume around either his wheelchair or a stroller chair. So Molly Kraus, who's a part of the guild, came to us because we send her Christmas cards every year and we show off the costumes. And she said, hey, would you guys be willing to kind of work together with the guild and see if we can do this at Mary Freebed with a lot of patients? So we were really excited. It's like double the size from last year, and we're trying to just treat more kids, involve more families, and make this Halloween the best ever for these kids. Grand Valley Engineering students, very fun, because they are making these costumes come to life. They're making them move, they're making them 3D, and I think they're having a lot of fun doing it too, because they've already asked to come back next week to help again. Um, we have the physical therapy students coming next week from Grand Valley, so it's fabulous. This is our second year teaming with Owen Ames Kimball, and last year they sent one volunteer team. This year they sent two because their team went back and gave us such a big shout out that more people wanted to join in. It really looks like it flying. And it's a helicopter that's going to go around April's wheelchair and we're trying to make it so that the blades actually spin so, so cool. just got to do it one step above and beyond. I just want these kids to be able to fit in and be able to dress up like everybody else in their school and to hang out with their kids, their friends when they're out, out trick-or-treating so and then we want to throw them a big parade so that they can show off to the whole community what, how great, great they look. For Still Central, we had them involved last year. We had probably 40 kids in the band last year. This year, we're expecting 100 to 130 to lead us out. They're going to close down Wealthy from the main entrance of Mary Freebed, and then we're all going to parade right, and they're going to close down Jefferson. These children deserve a Halloween just like every other child. They get to choose their costume. They're involved in, in a lot of the decision-making process. Um, they come back and have trial runs to make sure the costumes work and that they're happy with it. And we just, we just want it to be a magical day for all of them.